I was um, very honored, very excited, and pretty shocked because I didn't have to audition, which I thought was very weird. Um, so yeah, I felt very, very happy. I didn't believe it. I, I didn't quite believe it. I, I, I thought someone was playing a terrible joke. Um, I was actually having a party at my house at the time. Put the phone down and pretended like it hadn't uh, happened. I was so oh. pretending like it hadn't happened and didn't tell anyone. Oh, nice. <laughs> It would have to be number one. Number one, yeah. Just because of the fact that we're introduced to the world and we're introduced to the characters and it's where, you know, it's where the, it's where the story starts. It's where it takes off. It's sort of where where I fell in love with all the characters. So do you? Yeah, well, yeah, I was going to say, it's it's like when Clary first discovers that she isn't who she thought she was and everything gets turned upside down and I think the drama of it all um, mixed in with the, the humour and the romance, it kind of makes for a really exciting story. <laughs> terrifying, <laughs> terrifying for me. That scene's the most nerve-wracking scene of all of them. Yeah. I mean, that's the scene where Jace opens up and spills the beans and I have a massive monologue before the kiss. So not only have I got to think about trying to look sexy, but I've also <laughs> got to try and think about saying nice words as well. Which is and there was rain involved, so it was a bit... Yeah. Uh, damp. <laughs> no, it's all about lighting, you know, and they're always like, move to the left, move to the right, kind of. It's not, it's always, it's pretty awkward. Always. I pretty much, I didn't really emotionally prepare that much for the movie, except for the fact of wondering what it would be like if my mom was taken, but otherwise it was just, how would Lily react? as Clary in these situations because she is pretty much every normal girl out there that finds out that they're, that they're not normal. So what would I do? You know, so basically it, I, there are so many times I look on the screen and I just see like little Lilyisms, you know, in Clary's character. Mm, that's true. <laughs> I, I created a mood board. I had pictures of um, inspirations that, that I saw for Jace, James Hetfield, Kurt Cobain, River Phoenix, Heath Ledger, Johnny Depp, um, and so stuck that up on my wall. I also had pictures of fan art, like things that drawings that the kids had done of me, uh, that kids had done of Lily. So I had that all up on the board, and I physically trained for four and a half months. So that that was my prep. I, uh, I I'm. Uh, other than this one, yeah, I was just going to say, other than this one, um, I did a film called Stuck in Love, we originally called Writers, but Stuck in Love, that, um, that premiered at the Toronto Film Festival while we were shooting this, actually, and uh, that was my first, it was the script that I read for the first time that I couldn't imagine anyone else doing, and um, it's really close to my heart, and we shot it in 20 days, and it was, it was yeah, really, really special. Movie. It's a great movie. Thank you. My favourite film... Crikey. Uh, probably Anonymous. I did a film with Roland Emmerich called Anonymous about the authorship of Shakespeare's work. It's pretty cool. Sweeney was pretty dope too, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, hard choices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quality problems. <laughs> White girl problems. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, ours has humour. I think, which isn't, which, a pur purposeful humor. Um, um, yeah, it's better than like non purposeful humor. Yeah, no, I know. It's supposed to be funny. It's accidentally funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, it's, not, it's not about vampires versus werewolves. Um, it's, um, you know, it's not a romance per se. It's an urban fantasy with action, drama, romance involved. Um, I think I think ultimately what what makes it different from anything that we've seen before is that it's it's based more on reality. It's about it's about a girl who's a real girl, and it's about real emotion. And even the characters that are meant to be supernatural and different, they all they're just as flawed as anybody else is. And I think that that's what separates it as well. Yeah, and even the fantasy characters are very human. Mm, exactly. Everything you've heard about. Monsters about nightmares. Legends whispered around campfires. All the stories are true. You are the key to our survival. There's too many of them. Have a look at face. 